The children of Israel, that a rich, wealthy man who had nephews, and they were to inherit him after he dies, they did not wait until he dies. They went ahead and killed him in order to inherit his wealth. And they hid his body somewhere else. Nobody knows who killed this man. Nobody knows who is the killer. Bani Israel started quarreling with one another to figure out who killed the man. This story, according to some of the scholars of Tafsir, took place after the people of Israel left Egypt. So this is after the destruction of Pharaoh. And it is after Musa السلام, left them for 40 nights and his people instead began to worship a calf. And it is after Musa السلام, returning to them and destroying that calf. So this is towards the end of the story of Musa السلام. Who killed him? Who didn't kill him? Because those who killed him would inherit. They would be sidelined. So no one was claiming to have killed this man, murdered this man, obviously. But at the same time, no one was able to divide the inheritance until this issue was sorted out. So they began to dispute amongst themselves. So one from amongst them said, why is it that we're disputing and arguing amongst ourselves when amongst us there is the Prophet of Allah, Musa alayhi salam? Why don't we go to him? So they came to Prophet Musa alayhi salam and they asked his help. Prophet Musa alayhi salam received the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and here is the story. They went to Musa alayhi salam and they told him. So Allah azza wa jal revealed, inspired to the Prophet Musa alayhi salam that in order for them to find out who was the killer, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. But when the prophets of Allah command us to do something and the messengers of Allah command us to do something, even though it may not seem rational to us or we may not understand necessarily the wisdom behind it, it is an obligation upon us to follow them. They are the only ones that you can follow blindly. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us this lesson. They said to him, are you making fun of us? Are you taking us in mockery and jest? What possible connection can there be between a man who was killed and sacrificing a cow. So Musa alayhi salam responded and he said, I seek refuge in Allah that I should be from amongst those people who is ignorant. And so Musa alayhi salam says to them, go and slaughter a cow. Now had they gone and slaughtered any cow, they would have fulfilled this commandment of their prophet and the issue would have finished. But because of their obstinate nature, because of the way that they were treating their prophets, because they thought that it was something which was a jest and a mockery and a play and a joke. They said to him, why don't you call on your Lord Allah and ask him to describe this cow to us. So the Prophet Musa alayhi salam asked Allah to give more information. He responded and he said that the cow that Allah wants you to now slaughter, not just any cow, but now the age of this cow must be that it's neither too old in the sense that it can no longer give birth nor can he be a virgin, but rather it must be between the two. So do as Allah has commanded you to do. Meaning don't ask any more questions. But instead they said rather call on to your Lord again and ask him this time to describe its color. He said in response that the color of the cow now that you ask for its color is that it is a yellow cow, bright in color. It is something which pleases when they see it. They said, we're still confused. Ask your Lord to describe it again because we have become confused between the cows. We still don't know what you want. And if Allah wills, then we will be from amongst the guided. So Musa alayhi salam said to them, Allah says to you that it is a cow that neither would you use it to plow the earth, nor has it ever been used to carry water to irrigate the lands. It is free of any deficiency in color or in any other deficiency, physical or otherwise, there are no problems with it. So they said, now you have told us what kind of cow you want. So they sorted it and Allah says, and they were never going to do so. Take some of the pieces of that dead cow after you slaughtered it and strike the dead person with it. 
he will come back to life and he will tell you who killed him. Now we know why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them to slaughter a cow. There is actually a story regarding this identical cow that was mentioned also in the books of Tafsir. Uh, Ibn Kathir uh, narrated it that uh, it, it belonged to a young man who used to be so kind and dutiful to his parents and his father passed away and he left him this cow and he told him take a good care of this cow and one day his mother told him to go pick up the cow that his father left for him so he's taking the cow and he's walking back when the children of Israel were sitting with Prophet Musa alayhi salam debating with him regarding what cow subhanallah the description of the cow that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finally identified for them fit exactly the cow of that young man who was taking the cow back home and they told him can you sell us the cow he said no I promised my mother not to do anything with this cow unless I basically get her approval so he went back to his mother and his mother told him no not sell it they kept offering him offering him offering him until they offered him such a great amount as we say it was impossible to refuse so he sold the cow so some of the scholars of tafsir said that this man due to his bir his dutifulness and his honoring of his mother allah azza wa jal honored him by giving him much wealth in return so they took this cow the cow that met all of these conditions the age the type of cow its color and so on and they slaughtered it so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them take this cow or take a part of the cow and hit the slain man with it. Thus does Allah bring the dead to life. It is said that when they struck the man with the part of the cow, he came back to life. And then he told the people, this was the man who murdered me. This was from the miracles that he gave to the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you something in the Quran, and then you question it, then you know what? You're questioning the, the all wise. You should trust the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should trust the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should have full trust in it and fulfill his commands. And rest assured, if you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy on you. And rest assured, if you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deliver you in this dunya and will deliver you in the hereafter by admitting you to paradise for eternity. And remember, we hear and we obey is the practical implementation of La ilaha illallah.